The First World War left Europe in ruins, millions lay dead and empires crumbled. Germany, once a rising power, was defeated and humiliated. The Treaty of Versailles blamed Germany for the war. It imposed harsh penalties including territorial losses and reparations. Today we dive into The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich by William L. Shirer. This history, non-fiction, World War II, politics gem published on 1960, provides a detailed and gripping account of one of the most pivotal periods in modern history. It's comprehensive, well-researched, and offers valuable insights into the factors that led to the rise of Nazi Germany and the devastating impact of World War II. Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries bringing literature to life one summary at the time. So grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. In this masterpiece we learn that this fueled resentment and instability in Germany. The global economy was in turmoil. Hyperinflation gripped Germany, shattering the middle class. Unemployment soared and desperation filled the streets. Political extremism flourished in this climate of despair. Into this maelstrom stepped Adolf Hitler. He found a receptive audience for his message of national revival. The Nazi party exploited the economic misery and political chaos. The stage was set for one of the darkest chapters in human history. Adolf Hitler, a master manipulator, understood the power of propaganda and spectacle. He transformed the Nazi party from a fringe group into a mass movement. Hitler captivated audiences with his fiery rhetoric, promising to restore German pride and power. He appealed to their fears and prejudices, scapegoating Jews, communists and other minorities for Germany's woes. The Nazi party's stormtroopers, the SA, terrorized political opponents and created an atmosphere of fear. They used violence and intimidation to silence dissent and consolidate power. Hitler's propaganda chief, Josef Goebbels, skillfully exploited the media. He controlled newspapers, radio and film to spread Nazi ideology and demonize enemies of the state. In 1933 Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany. He quickly dismantled the Weimar Republic and established a totalitarian dictatorship. The Enabling Act granted Hitler dictatorial powers, effectively ending democracy in Germany. The Nazis outlawed other political parties, crushed dissent, and established a police state. The Gestapo, the secret police, instilled fear and enforced obedience through surveillance, arbitrary arrest, and torture. Hitler's rise to power was swift and brutal. He exploited the weaknesses of the Weimar Republic, the desperation of the German people, and the indifference of the outside world. By the time the world realized the true nature of his regime, it was already too late. The Nazi grip on Germany was firm, and the machinery of war was already in motion. Propaganda was the lifeblood of the Nazi regime. It was a powerful tool used to shape public opinion and maintain control. Joseph Goebbels, the Minister of Propaganda, was a master of manipulation. He understood the power of imagery, repetition, and emotional appeals. Goebbels controlled all aspects of German media. Nazi propaganda promoted Aryan supremacy and portrayed Jews as a threat. It glorified Hitler as a messianic leader. The Nazis used rallies and spectacles to create unity and adulation. The Nuremberg rallies were displays of Nazi power and ideology. Through education, the Nazis indoctrinated German youth. Children were enrolled in the Hitler Youth and subjected to intense training. The Nazi propaganda machine was ruthlessly effective. Millions were swept up in the Nazi ideology, blinded by its promises and hate. A reign of terror, persecution and genocide in Nazi Germany. The Nazi regime targeted anyone deemed different or undesirable. Jews however were singled out for systematic persecution and ultimately genocide. Hitler's fanatical hatred of Jews was rooted in centuries of anti-Semitism, fueled by conspiracy theories and economic resentment. He blamed Jews for Germany's defeat in World War I and its economic woes. The persecution of Jews began with discrimination and escalated to violence and mass murder. The Nuremberg Laws enacted in 1935 stripped Jews of their citizenship and fundamental rights. They were barred from public service, intermarriage with Aryans, and owning businesses. The Nazis encouraged boycotts of Jewish businesses and subjected Jews to public humiliation and violence. On Kristallnacht, the Night of Broken Glass, in November 1938, Nazi mobs across Germany and Austria attacked Jewish homes, businesses, and synagogues. Synagogues were burned, businesses looted, and thousands of Jews were arrested and sent to concentration camps. This marked a terrifying escalation in the Nazi persecution of Jews, signaling the beginning of the Holocaust. 
the Nazis established a vast network of concentration camps and extermination camps designed to imprison and murder Jews, political opponents, and other minorities. The horrors of the Holocaust, the systematic bureaucratic annihilation of six million Jews, stand as a chilling testament to the dangers of unchecked hatred and totalitarian rule. The Shadow of War From Expansion to Global Conflict Driven by a lust for power and a twisted ideology of racial superiority, Hitler embarked on a campaign of territorial expansion. He believed that Germany, as a master race, deserved Lebensraum or living space in the East. Hitler's foreign policy was a calculated gamble, testing the resolve of the Western powers while preparing for war. In 1938, Germany annexed Austria, a move met with little resistance from the international community. Emboldened, Hitler then set his sights on Czechoslovakia, demanding the Sudetenland, a region with a large German population. The Munich Agreement signed by Germany, Britain, France and Italy, ceded the Sudetenland to Germany in a futile attempt to appease Hitler and avoid war. On September 1, 1939, Germany invaded Poland, shattering the fragile peace. Britain and France, honoring their treaty obligations to Poland, declared war on Germany. World War II had begun. The Nazi war machine, fueled by a potent mix of ideology and military might, swept across Europe. Poland fell quickly, followed by Denmark, Norway, the Netherlands, Belgium, and France. The speed and brutality of the German Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, stunned the world. By 1941, Nazi Germany controlled most of continental Europe. Hitler's dreams of a thousand-year Reich seemed within reach. The world held its breath, bracing for a long and bloody conflict. The tide turns. From Stalingrad to D-Day. The tide of World War II began to turn with Germany's invasion of the Soviet Union in June 1941. Operation Barbarossa, as it was codenamed, was a colossal miscalculation on Hitler's part. The vastness of Russia, the tenacity of the Soviet people, and the harshness of the Russian winter all conspired against the German army. The Battle of Stalingrad, fought from August 1942 to February 1943, marked a turning point in the war. The German 6th Army, considered invincible, was encircled and destroyed in a brutal house-to-house -house battle that exemplified the ferocity of the Eastern Front. Stalingrad was a crushing defeat for Germany, both militarily and psychologically. It shattered the myth of German invincibility and sapped German morale. On June 6, 1944, Allied forces launched Operation Overlord, the largest amphibious invasion in history. D-Day, as it became known, marked the beginning of the liberation of Western Europe from Nazi tyranny. American, British, and Canadian troops stormed the beaches of Normandy, France, facing fierce resistance from the German defenders. The D-Day landings were a pivotal moment in the war. They established a crucial second front in Europe, relieving pressure on the Soviet Union in the east, and ultimately leading to the liberation of France and the advance towards Germany. The war was far from over, but the momentum had shifted decisively in favor of the Allies. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are encouraged us to create more summaries. Any comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.